You know, one of the many benefits of my job is I get to interview a lot of very impressive people uh, and in the financial world, a lot of impressive CEOs. None more so than Jack Welch, who just passed away at the age of 84, remembering not only his life and his career, but formally beginning with the passing of the baton when he named his successor. A quick look back. We have raised this issue when you and I chat in the past that the guy who comes after you has a tough road. And, and I did mention with you before the Coca-Cola example, uh, <laughs> you know, the Johnson & Johnson examples, that when a big name Not leaves... Johnson Johnson. They've, they've, they've done fine. Do you worry, though, that it sets up high expectations for this guy? Look, I think the best way to look at this is in, I sat in, this, in a room like this 20 years ago, 20 years ago this month, and uh, replaced a legend. And the headline in the paper was, uh, Legend Replaced by Livewire. <laughs> and um, 20 years later, uh, people are saying things. What GE's strength is, it's this great ability to change. All these assumptions at this moment in time, we can't predict exactly what the future is. Where do you go from here? Oh, lots of opportunities. A lot of people do not picture you just sitting around on a golf course. Well, that's not a bad assumption. You know, the United Shareholders of America, they, they love you. You think you delivered for your shareholders, great, great, great. But that these pay packages, yours included, they say. Obscene, overdone. The time has come to rein these in. What say you? The free market system has its flaws. It has its excesses. It has its swings. But, it's just, but give me a better system. Let, let's not level things because you get so many unintended consequences. I'm part, like so many others are, of an American dream. Started with nothing, worked hard, did it all, you too, and we achieved what we wanted to Do achieve. Do you think there should be a limit on what someone makes? Uh, no, I don't. For the companies in, in those regions of the world where there is this anti-American attitude, does this change anything? Look at Neil. I think that overall most people understand that corporations are the heart and soul of an economy. And, heart, and corporations are made up of a, an economy citizens. You, Mr. Free Market Capitalist, probably one of the best CEOs of the last century, are signing on to what is essentially a fiscal Hill Mary pass. No, I think it's another step in trying to resolve the crisis that we have. There's no question we were in a crisis. We have spreads here that uh, we haven't seen. Uh, debt is... Um, High yield debt has gone to all new levels. I'll tell you, we needed this help to have a chance to get this economy back on track without a serious decline. You were a young man when you'd taken over GE. You had a couple of rivals for the job. Uh, how did that go? Well, you know, Neil, uh, it was shocking because one of the rivals came in to me and uh, handed me his re resignation. He was a very capable guy. And I said, what the hell is this all about? <laughs> and he said, well, I supported the other candidate. And I said, uh, look, let's tear that up and stay here. you got to reach stay? out for the, yeah. Okay. Stayed and became vice chairman sure. and stayed uh, 20 years. I have always thought your key to the success is beginning with straight from the gut. A great book is it has to be from the gut. You have to get to people from a certain level that goes beyond just wonkiness, and, and, and that is what we need. And Your job as a leader is to get in the skin of everyone. Yeah. Show them where you're going, how you're going get, to get, get there, and what's in it for them when you get there. Yeah. You get those three things going, and man, you got it. That's what I do with the prompter every day. <laughs> every day, Jack. I love every you, day. Yeah. You know, I know you've heard a lot of wonderful things about Jack Welch, all well-deserved, but I can remember the years. We're going to have a lot more of this on Fox News at 4 p.m. Uh, when I asked him what was his biggest mistake, without blinking, he said, well, hiring you and making you an anchor at CNBC is a start. Uh, I could only say this and laugh at that because he made you laugh. He, he energized you. His energy was contagious. He was the guy who took a $12 billion concern and made it a better than $400 billion concern. It took a stock and sort rocket better than 4,000% under his leadership, only to see that whatever away after he left the company.